Tony Farrelly, editor Road CC. What I'd like to see at uh, Eurobike, for purely selfish reasons, really, is the which I'm really looking to seeing is the Salsa uh, Colossal and the Warbird 2. Uh, basically, because I'm really into the idea of bikes with disc brakes and that particular sort of bike, because it's the sort of machine that I want to ride, which is a sort of do it all, a do it all bike, but promises to be a do it all bike with a, a proper performance edge that uh, you can run disc brakes on. And I particularly like the idea of that you can have them in time, so it's almost like a bike for, for life. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm interested to see if we'll see um, disc brakes, uh, particularly hydraulic disc brakes, on any other bikes, or if we'll see people with disc brake levers, uh, uh, hydraulic disc brake levers. Um, I, I think we will. Um, and also to see what's happening with carbon, where we'll see more of it in different, on different types of bikes, say commuting bikes, um, and who knows what. Um, but yeah, that's one of Hi, I'm Matt Pratt, technical editor on Road CC. Uh, what I'm looking forward to most seeing at Eurobike are, um, I guess I'm looking to see how many uh, road bikes pick up on disc brakes. That should be interesting to see whether that's uh, just a flash in the pan or whether a lot of people are going to go for it next year. Um, I'll also be really interested to see uh, whether this year loads of people jump on the electronic shifting bandwagon with uh, getting cheaper uh, on uh, Campag and also the new Shimano Dura system so uh, those will be uh, really interesting to see how those are picked up too. State your name. Hello I'm David Arthur. Uh, well, personally I'm looking forward to seeing the return of a high-end steel racing bike at Eurobike but I don't think that's going to happen. So what I expect to, to see being the trend are aerodynamics, integration and electronics. We're seeing a lot more aerodynamic design come into components, uh, clothing and road bikes. I expect that to see, be a big trend this year. Electronics tripping down through the prices a lot more and on cross bikes, commuter bikes potentially. And in integration, in um, the electronics, the battery has been hidden away inside the frames a lot more successfully than we have seen in previous years. Um, but then I could be totally wrong, so we'll see. <laughs> How's that? Hi, I'm uh, Vecchio Joe from Road TC, and we're on our way to Eurobike in a glamorous petrol station. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing cyclocross bikes uh, with discs, I think going to make a big thing this year and maybe someone's going to bring out a hydraulic road lever to make them work properly and aside from that a nice aluminium road bike to beat the carbon ones and also shoes I need some new shoes so looking at nice shoes I think that's it really and ham and cheese sandwiches lots of them Hi, Dave Atkinson here from Road CC. Um, we're talking about what we want to see at Eurobike. Um, everyone's mentioned disc, disc brakes on road bikes, and I'm going to mention them too. It's going to be a big thing this year. It'll be interesting to see how far down the ranges it goes, and that'll be a really good indicator of whether it will actually be something that gets picked up in the years to come, or whether it's a bit of a flash in the pan. It'll be interesting to see if anyone's got a proper mechanical shifter with a hydraulic master cylinder, in, and whether people are really going to go down that route, whether they've done something more elegant than just bolting on the cylinder somewhere else in the bike. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, also, frame designs for discs, fork designs for discs, who's doing what, what's having to change, and what size the discs are as well. We've seen 140 up to 180 on road bikes. So whether there'll be a stand, whether people want to or something. I'm not doing that bit now, when that lorry's gone. Hello, I'm T. I'm again, and what I'd like most to see this year is on Tuesday the Canyon Party, and then possibly on Thursday I'm looking forward to the Continental Party, and then on to the Charge Party. 
That should be good. And then the Friday, the Eurobike party, because that, that's always good with lots of live bands and stuff. And uh, I'm also looking to see, forward to seeing some bicycles. Um, maybe I'd like to see what's going on in the, the fixed world, what colours we got, what wheels we're riding, whether we're going to go down to 26, up to 29ers, stick into 700 Cs. And um, generally, also the introduction of carbon fibre into some really cheap utility bikes. Maybe we'll see that. Um, and other things to plug in your iPhone and, uh, and uh, little gadgets for your bike. I might be looking out for those as well. I do the most glorious panning shot and you ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> also, on the urban side, it'd be interesting to see whether we get a convergence of the kind of urban bikes that we get in the UK and what we get over the continent. Over the last couple of years, we've seen more of that continental influence coming into some of the UK models. Be interesting to see whether that continues. Also, electronic bikes, they're getting cheaper, they're getting more accessible. Whether it'll still be predominantly bottom bracket driven systems in, the, in Europe, or whether they'll move towards the cheaper front motor type of systems, which are, which are gaining ground in the UK again. So, yeah, a lot of things to look at. I've uh, just found something else that I want to see as looking through Tour magazine and the petrol station. And it opened up to this look uh, 675. I want to see that. I want to take that home. Um, I want that to do bad things to me.